enjoy hand stitching. That must be obvious since I have a YouTube channel about it. But one thing I particularly enjoy about the Bulgarian Shavita specifically is the repetitive designs. Once I memorize the pattern, the simple hand motion of stitching frees my mind. It allows my thoughts to roam, to relax, to process stress, to internalize experiences. So I decided to put into video my recent thoughts. The last few weeks in Los Angeles, where I live, have been pretty intense. The reason was the protests against the death of George Floyd and many other black people by police action. The first few days of demonstrations were very chaotic and there was much looting, but thankfully peaceful protests quickly got the upper hand and the Black Lives Matter movement made a great statement. The solidarity from the community is visible and I hope lasting. For a time it was difficult to post anything on social media. I mean, what, what could I say? Matters much more important than embroidery were being discussed. And frankly, I was at a loss as to how I could contribute. What does Eastern European embroidery have to do with American racial relations in the 2020s? And then, the more I thought, the more I realized what a precarious in the middle position I have. Raised in socialist Bulgaria, a country where police controlled its own. Having our government assigned to us for much of our recent history. Being of the same color, yet considered an inferior South and Eastern European race as late as the 1970s here in the US. Still passing an extra security, even last year, at international airports in Western Europe. At the same time, being able to fit right in this wonderful country, the United States of America. Coming here as an immigrant, graduating from college, finding the job I dreamed of, establishing a life with the same values as the so-called white America. I wanted to post something appropriate yet true to myself. I wanted Shivica that could express my feelings. I looked through my photo collection and saw this one. Shivica from a woman's shirt from my hometown of Vidin. It is black, on white cloth, with a little bit of pink. All people have the same red blood, I thought. So pink will do. This shirt is a part of exhibit of national folk dress in the History Museum Krastata Kazarma in my hometown Vidin. I copied the design directly from the photos I took last year. This is 14 count white Aida cloth. I'm using three strand embroidery floss and a number 26 tapestry needle. The history of Shivica is very long. It is an ancient art with ancient symbols and meanings. Unfortunately, cloth is hard to preserve over centuries, so we don't have many ancient examples preserved. This one is from around the turn of the 20th century. Even though the skill has been practiced continually, the meanings behind the shapes and colors have slowly been lost in many cases becoming strictly ornamental. What did the color black mean? I don't know. I've begun reading materials on the symbols of Shivica, so I hope to find something about it. What does the color black mean in a skin tone? It is my firm belief that it isn't any different than height. It can be a physical description, but it isn't a functional property that divides people into categories culture, language, values and their expression, these are true distinctions. How do you foster a compassion for a different identity without surrendering and compromising your own? It's a rough road. Coming from the Balkans, an area known for its political unrest, nationalistic and ethnic tensions, what I do know is that putting down one culture to exalt your own doesn't work. It's a big world. There is space for every culture, with its gifts and its values. Social awareness is important. Honesty is important. Hearing personal stories makes such a difference. Looking into history again to understand, to learn, to not repeat past mistakes. It's a long road. But I think great progress has been made and I'm happy to listen and to learn and hopefully to be able to contribute. I pray that we are able to distinguish the real issues 
and take the right actions and not continue to reinforce this false and man-made distinction of outward appearance called race. Mm -hmm.